Hey folks, it's Pete here from Ashton's Cars. Today I'm taking you around a Citroen C3 Picasso. This is a late 2009 model. It's the 1.6 HDI and it's trimmed in exclusive trim. Uh, so it's got a few toys on it that you don't get on the basic model. Um, I love these cars. I find that they're quite hard wearing. They're quite a durable vehicle and the little 1.6 diesel is very, very good on fuel. It gets cheap tax as well. And it's, uh, you know, it's got all the toys on it that you would possibly need for a small family. Five seats, decent sized boot, and it's got, because it's an exclusive, this one's got things like aviation trays in the back, blinds, obviously air conditioning, I think, which you get on most cars really now, but it's also got cruise control, this one, and a nice uh, five-speed manual gearbox for the 1.6 diesel engine. So it drives really, really well. They're a slightly unusual looking car, admittedly, but with the exclusive trim and finished in black as this one is, I think they look quite nice. The roof rails look good and they've aged really well. Doesn't look to me like a 13 year old car. So taking you around this particular one, apart from a couple of light marks on door edges and um, the odd very, very light mark, um, which is just age related on this type of car, it's in very good condition. It's been well looked after by its previous owner. There's a little bit of a scuff here on the back bumper. It's probably the most notable mark on the car, in fact. Um, and the car's fitted with a rear tow bar. Very handy if you want to use it for a trailer. They're not the, obviously the heaviest car in the world. These they won't really, not recommended for caravans or anything big. But um, the gentleman who owned this just used it for a very small trailer. It's certainly more than capable of doing that. Being a 1.6 diesel, the engine on it's actually quite torquey. It does perform very, very well. So uh, while it's not a sports car, it certainly has got ample performance for everyday use. And the main thing you benefit from on these is a fantastic fuel economy. You can get 60 plus to the gallon out of these cars, which is really, really good for a car that's got such a spacious and practical interior. So, apart from the fact that I think it is in very good condition outside, there's not a massive amount more to tell you out here. You have got things like decent sort of alloy wheels on the car. There's 16 inch wheels on this particular one, being an exclusive. And you've got things like the nice little chrome trim on the front, just to brighten things up over the standard car. But overall, it's a practical car. It's built to be spacious inside and cheap to run. And that's what it's very, very good at. Now, I should add, this particular car has done 130,000 miles. So while that's only about average for the age of it, it, I think the fact that it's in such good condition and it's, it's such a hard wearing vehicle is testament really to these vehicles. As you can see back here, we've got a decent sized boot. It's got a little shelf here that you can fold forward and slide forward it's reasonably large reasonably square it's got quite a deep floor on it but you can put a false floor in there if you want to it's just this car hasn't got that with it at the moment but some of them i think you could have a little false floor that's sat there to make it level when you put things in but even without that in place there's oh yeah a small amount of a, a gap there so it's quite practical actually so plenty of room there for a family of four or five at a push when we have a look inside the car, which we will do now. Just looking towards the back of it, you can see so much room in this because it's quite high. You can see there's quite a high seating position. So when I'm sat in there, I'm fairly upright and that means my legs aren't sprawled out. Uh, so I've got loads and loads of leg and knee room in this car because of that. I'll just put my keys by there a moment and show you that it's also got the aviation trays on it. So that pops there, that pops down. A little bit of a tray there for your drinks, sweets, whatever. For when you've got kids in the back of the car, it comes in extremely handy. And it just flips away and stows like that. So we've got two of those. And we've got sun blinds on the rear windows as well. So that pulls out like so. Goes across the windows. Keeps the back nice and cool. Keeps the sun out of people's eyes. 12 volt socket in the middle. And you'll see an extra cup holder there as well. And I do believe on the exclusive, they have, yes, a armrest that fits in here. Although for some reason I've not... It's not fitted, it does, it does come down. The whole thing is an armrest if you wanted to. I'm not gonna risk jamming my fingers in it for a minute. But yeah, it's quite practical, it's quite spacious. And you know, even adults of six foot and over will be able to fit comfortably in the back of this car. That's really, really good for this car, this size, isn't it? Also, you will notice it has got electric windows in the rear as well as the front. So another little plus point with this car, you don't get that in that many cars in this price range. Moving towards the front, more space, 
uh, more practicality. Being the exclusive, this one's got a few extra toys in it, like the, the middle armrest that you can see there, and some nice metal look trim on the dashboard. Uh, it looks quite nice and bright, lifts the car, that sort of trim does, I think. You have got, as well, just for an added practical note, a folding front seat. So you can actually put huge loads in this car. If you imagine you stow all those ones away into the floor, because they're on sliders, those rear ones. And then you can fly, put this forward, have a little bit more practicality again. I should probably just show you that on the rear seats quickly. Is that all of these seats are actually on sliders, so I can pull them forward if I wish to. There's a bar underneath there. I won't do it now, but it's pretty simple to do uh, when you're not holding a mobile phone and trying to film yourself. Right, let's, uh, let's jump into the driver's seat and start it up. Other things you get on exclusive, I should say, is this wonderful carbon look trim. Uh, it's not real carbon fibre, I'm told. Not at this price. <laughs> but still, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? And all in all, I think it's just a, a relatively nice car to, to sort of sit in and drive. So it's got a reasonably good sort of view out of it, as you can see. Quite a nice glass area. Someone's put these uh, wheel sort of wind deflectors on the car as well. They are removable if you didn't wish them, but they look quite cool. I'll just zoom out slightly so you can see the whole dash and start the car up. She starts instantly. I've stalled it because I had it in gear, but just, she starts instantly. You can see slightly unusual dashboard design on it and it's got a central binnacle on it. We've got a speedo on there uh, and then to the left of that, a sort of multi-function display, which tells us everything we need to possibly know, including the range, which is displaying at the moment of 174 miles. Um, again, fuel economy is a massive boon on these cars. They're hugely good on fuel. Uh, in the real world, there's not much that competes with them in terms of the size and the practicality combined with the fuel consumption. So, nice little display on, on the car, 132,000 miles. Uh, I should add, you can probably see that there at the bottom of that speedometer gauge. I find it very clear and very easy to use the instruments on these cars. And in keeping with the practical nature, it's got loads of extra little storage space inside here. Decent sized glove box, a couple of cup holders down here, and massively deep door bins on the side that can take your bottles and any other drinks and bits and bobs that you've got with you. Uh, coming down onto the steering wheel here, you can see we've got cruise control buttons that side, stereo controls if you look down there, yeah, on that side. So it's got the cruise, it's got a speed limit to function on that cruise control as well, that's very handy. And also one other little trick that it's got is it's got an extra little mirror bay, yeah? So I can spy what my kids are doing in the back seat as I'm driving along. Very handy. I mean, you can see by touches like that that this car was built with families in mind. And it's no surprise really that it is such a practical vehicle. It sits nice and high. That means it's very easy to get in and out of for people. I personally, you know, like and, and find it a very easy car to get in and out of and drive. And I tend to end up using these quite a lot when they come into stock, to be honest with you, for that very reason. Uh, if, by the way, the display looks like it's flashing at the moment on our recording equipment, it's not. It's actually the, uh, the recording equipment, for some reason, makes it look like it is. Um, things that you don't get on the standard uh, versions and the VTRs and stuff of these, you don't get this climate control. It normally has normal heating, but this one is a posh model. So we have got separate controls for the passenger and the driver. Uh, we've also got rear parking sensors as well. So when I put her into reverse, you hear it'll beep there and it's got parking sensors. Should we reverse it in near anything? Just helps it, makes it a little bit easier to, to guide us into spaces. Um, overall, just a very, very nice car. This particular one's very nice and it's been well looked after and I'll rev it quickly now if you can hear the engine on it. All I'm looking for there is, is there any smoke, anything like that on the car? There isn't, look, I'll give it a rev if you're looking in the mirror, you can see there is no smoke coming out of this car. Um, beware of ones that have got smoky engines, that usually means turbo wear, and you just, just want to walk away from those cars. But apart from that, they're a very strong engine, to be honest with you. They don't tend to give a lot of grief in my experience. If you're looking for something that's practical and cheap to run, you could do a lot worse than a C3 Picasso, in my opinion. And these have come right down in price now, so they're very practical and very cheap to buy. And the good thing is they do still look, I think, a thoroughly modern car. Citroen designed 
this car and continued with the design for many, many years. So a 59 plate like this, which is quite early in the run, um, it still looks very similar to a 64, 65 plate. So you look like you're driving quite a modern, quite a new car. And the 1.6 diesel that's in this car is in every other car pr practically of this era. Um, every Peugeot seems to come with these 1.6 diesels. Um, Citroen have got the same as Peugeot, um, which is why this car's got one. Then you've got Ford, which used it for their Fiestas and their Focuses. So it's a tried and tested engine. Parts are cheap and maintenance is cheap for that reason. So it, it's a very practical car, not just on terms of uh, the miles per gallon it gets and the space you get, it's also cheap to run because maintenance is very cheap on it. And that's something that you need to think about if you're buying a car in this budget. So my advice on these is look out for ones that are smoky. Look out for ones that are overly tatty. But if you buy one like this, that's been pretty well loved by its previous owner and uh, is in good condition for its age and mileage, you've got yourself a bargain people carrier. Uh, this one's obviously for sale and if you're interested in this particular car my number is 07932 873 646. I'll give you that number again in just a second but please as you've come this far on our video please give us a, a like subscribe to our channel you'll see a little uh, sign hopefully come up in a second to to subscribe we would love you to do that and it also gives you the first notice of any new stock we've got arriving in and obviously um, Feel free to comment and like and share it with family members who might be interested. Thanks ever so much for watching. I'll give you that number one more time. It's 07932 873 646. I hope you have a great day wherever you are and we will see you soon.